Hello, my name is Maxim Zhestkov, but you can call me Max. So this is the very, very, very beginning of the modules project and you are in the lobby. Yeah, that's how we named this wonderful and empty space where you could just read a little bit about project, where you could look through the map and other places which you will visit through your journey and probably listen to this first audio message. So, my project modules, a couple of words. I decided to make something really, really big, something uh, like a total artwork, where I will be able to control sound, spaces, interactions, architecture, graphic design, and all, all, all wonderful things around. And this is my first step into this territory in the future the, the the main concept of this project is that it will grow and i will make it bigger with my new projects and i will make it happen till the rest of my life so it's pretty interesting and i'm really excited to record this very first message because you know there will be thousands of messages in the future so and this is the very beginning so the the first attempt the first thing is cluster number one it's 11 rooms and every big update will go with this cluster so it's it's one idea it's one concept and i will be able to play with space time and pixels and sound and uh, to tell this story through all this wonderful tools so and this is cluster number one where i start this journey when i will tell a little bit more about the project and actually the project e is available uh, so probably because you are listening to this thing it's already available in uh, virtual reality uh, as a desktop thing on steam and maybe some more stuff which I don't know at the moment, but in the future, future me will decide to publish it somewhere. So, probably this is it. So, the main thing is to follow your heart and arrows on walls. Thank you very much and see you soon in new audio spheres. Bye bye. So, the project started years ago the initial module concept yes it was module not modules and i started it in 2008 it was my big experimental diploma project where i really really wanted to go into the new spaces and make my own architectural experiences and made some installations and made some graphic design and made some animation and rendered everything so it was really really big uh, total project where I kind of made everything and um, I decided that this is my really really big project I made it and now I can be quite happy because this is my kind of virtual world Okay, but a couple of years later, when virtual reality, new technologies, uh, game engines became more thing and uh, more affordable, I started to think that uh, it would be so nice to to come back into the this particular concept of making something beyond, of making something what could set the new boundaries and what could bring these exploratory driven processes and kind of wild imagination into the very, very far horizon of mine. And that's how this journey started. About two and a half years ago, it was 2020 or 21, when we started in my studio play with shapes, with computer graphics and with virtual reality. In the very beginning, 
um, we thought that yeah. so probably it could be Architecture is really an extremely important topic for me. I studied architecture and I was in love with the idea that I can be a sculptor who creates spaces. So probably this is the essence of architecture. But then I, I became a little bit disillusioned because architecture was mostly about utilitarian things and I wanted to go into more creative freedom without loving how Richard Serra joked and um, what I decided to do to to be really close to to architecture no I actually didn't decide I just with this thing without any decisions every project which I make is about spaces this is not by my decision this is about my inner experience of true thinking what is reality for me and for me reality is definitely about spaces and I thought that yes or probably I will never be an architect, I will never build a building and create some spaces and to invite people there. And this idea always, always been really close to my head that... So, where is the place for new architects in the future and in reality? For the people who want to overstep this worlds of possibilities and find their own place and make their own spaces and worlds. So it was really, really big journey and only after 20 years, so 20 years ago I, I started to, to study architecture at university and only now I can make something spatial and invite people inside. So you, my dear friend, is is a visitor of my space not real but it's a re in this space it's a, some kind of dialogue i really wanted to make not encapsulated experiences in a, in each room but something where rooms are connected to each other something that we can see the next object we can see what, what is going on there, standing here. So, and um, that's how I started to, to make this wonderful spatial dialogue between room number two and room number three. And it was quite interestingly to synchronize and to, to play with this different speed and experience. So here we have the horizontal motion. We have, so actually I made this sketch 15 years ago or something where I imagined a really huge wall and we experience approaching something and we we know that this thing will happen that this thing will will appear but we feel it with these two-dimensional spots two-dimensional dots which are just going outside so when i made this animated uh, sketch um again animated sketch it's uh, my own kind of uh, uh, term in my head that i sometimes think through through animation about some emotions and um i started this process years ago maybe 17 around 20 years ago this room is special it's cylindrical and it's huge i wanted to keep this balance 
and to tell the story about different spaces and combine them in in particular way with thinking about what was before and what is going to be next. I love in the world of architecture this approach when you think broadly and you have completely different spaces. This room is only about the room, only about the space, and only about stillness. I was really fascinated by the idea that we can play and make something without loud and bold stuff, and to keep everything in spatial and a compositional balance. So like in previous rooms, in previous spaces, I played with horizontal experiences and vertical. Here I decided to make a room as, as a composition and as a storytelling tool as it is, without any additional animations and loud things inside. So this one is kind of Zen room. Okay, so this, this place could be dangerous because it will be a left turning moment and kind of your mind turning moment and your body turning moment. And um, some people scream a lot, some people try to fall in reality. And uh, some people just uh, tell that, okay, so it's enough for me, let's, let's talk about some different stuff. But...
I spent a lot of time thinking how to combine together and how to make real objects and unreal impossible objects and how to combine them together to keep this really nice balance for perception and for understanding that this is a real and a little bit not real spaces. So we we made a lot of prototypes, a lot, a lot of different trials and errors, and I will talk later in in, um, uh, in my messages about compression quality, how to use Blender for us to make something wonderful, but to keep everything inside possibilities, what we can compress and what we can upload as a software. So and. Um, real and completely artificial. The first thing what people think when they use this word metaverse and all this trading arrangements and trading things is that you can create anything. So let's let's make forest. Let's make endless uh, terrain.
about 20 years ago, I started to play with illustrations and graphic design. And think about spaces through some really minimalistic approach. I made a couple of illustrations where I used only circles to explain and to give experience of spatial objects, of sculptures, using only white spheres, distorted spheres on a black background and vice versa black on a white and white on a black so I was really really concentrated on this minimalistic approach how I can use quite simplistic tools visual kind of uh, core concepts uh, with the simplest way possible to deliver shapes then I, I started to, to use animation and I started to play with animation in After Effects with the same approach. How I can use circles only in black and white color plate and to, to make illusion of depth and to make perception that with this simplicity I can make and believe in, in shapes without showing the shapes, right? Just only showing the small amounts of these elements around. It's about negative space and about positive space. So and then years after I started to use 3D graphics. And I... In this space, I wanted to continue this storytelling. In the very beginning, we had two rooms, two spaces, and uh, we seen horizontal and vertical movement, and we made the same story here, that it's about vertical and it's about horizontal. And this particular one is, is really special for us because we had this idea in our minds that it would be really lovely to find ways to to create this math algorithm to to bring this sculpture to bring this installation to not to life right to to kind of digital life and we found a way and it works and i'm extremely happy and um, all my team made a wonderful work through the whole uh, project production and i'm extremely grateful chance to, to go through this project together and um, this particular room is the final one is the in the first cluster and um, this is really nice analogy nice kind of shape to close this story that this is a kind of membrane The big 